Scorn may be the darkest exploration of attaining higher states of consciousness that we've ever seen in any medium, let alone gaming. Scorn is a game that I believe has many meanings and interpretations. As with most great art and literature, there is the meaning that the creators wanted you to take away from the experience, most of which is revealed within Scorn's lore, history, and religious text the official art book. Then there is the deeply personal meaning that you can find from the imagery and themes that you pick up on in your personal experience. However, I believe the largest reveal in Scorn is about the society and the horrors that can occur when man's hubris for something overtakes them and becomes the sole focus of their achievement. Scorn's upper end of society is solely in the pursuit of attaining higher states of consciousness so much to the point that they have crafted an entire city dedicated to the borderline religious cult of evolving one's consciousness and becoming one connected network together. As you traverse the game's environment, constantly curious to what goal is at the end of this suffering and misery, it kind of comes to fruition as you hit Polis and you realize that all this suffering misery and decay was caused by the people of polis by the ones who were in pursuit of these higher states of consciousness the world of scorn is in a state of decay because humanity valued consciousness over individual autonomy and together they joined to create a new tower of babel essentially and reach the supposed heavens or higher states and physical manifestations of consciousness. Every Ditopian nightmare you encounter within the game was engineered at one point in the past by the inhabitants of this world to keep on track with their goal of transcendence. The Mold Man, for instance, that you use to escape the pit is simply recycled dead flesh with little or lower conscious pursuits than the people of Polis. They are a slave and a working class to these people. The homunculi are specifically made and engineered to use as mind-altering drugs, which is what leads to an entire civil war because these beings were conscious enough to understand the horrors of what was going on and fought back against the people of Polis. Every horrific thing you bear witness to was solely designed to help one set of people go beyond their flesh and as the title suggests, they have a scorn for this flesh so much that they want to transcend into a godlike being. I believe scorn warns us of humanity's innate ability to create hellish nightmares in our pursuit of utopian ideas. As they say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions and what a hell the people in Scorn's universe have created. I think part of what makes Scorn such an amazing experience from beginning to end is the fact that it truly envelops the emotion of what humanity goes through as we traverse through life. Seemingly no point, pain and suffering and non-stop grotesque experience after experience. However, just as in real life, we are left wondering, pondering, and only coming to our own conclusions and ideas as to what happens beyond this mortal coil. But that's it, you guys. That's Scorn. It's a horrifying look at the pursuit of conscious evolution, and I loved every moment I spent with this game. It is a phenomenal experience and I cannot recommend it enough for those out there who are interested in kind of these more niche and esoteric concepts. But as with all things, it comes to an end, such as this video. I want to thank you so much for watching and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do want to make more content just like this and if you enjoyed it please hit the like button on your way down and comment tell me about what your favorite moment of scorn was or what you believe lies beyond the veil but with all that said and done i'll see you in the next video